Hello everyone, this is part two of the build series of the Team Associated Factory Team Short Course Truck. Uh, this will be, uh, part two is going to be consisting of the steering rack building procedure. So what we need, what we got here is uh, necessary bags, uh, tools, and we'll carry, we'll carry on now. So. So here it says what we have to do here with the steering rack is we have to pre-thread the uh, this this part of the uh, lower servo saver arm. So we have to take out the necessary parts. We've got some dust covers here. Alrighty. Okay, so we need the washer and the uh, servo saver bolt so we just have to all we have to do is pre-thread it okay make sure you don't cross thread it in as I almost just did okay so as it says in the manual just to do it as so as it starts to just tighten up so we just do a little bit more so it just starts to nip there so now we unthread it so that is that section there pretty simple and you can't see it but in the, on the camera but I can tell you now it, it is threaded so that's that part there right now this part here we will need some black grease and we'll need the upper part of the servo saver now the whole idea of the black grease it's just to lubricate uh, the servo saver arms no, no. You, probably, you probably could get away with not doing it but I mean, if it says to do it in the in the manual, it's a good idea to do it. Okay. And when you're building these, just take take don't don't be in a rush to get it together. Take your time. Sometimes it even helps just to uh, have a look over the instruction manual beforehand. Now, I, when you put it in, some I find when you when I built my B4, I did the black grease, put it in. I just did that just to work it around, so it's all evenly coated, like so. Another thing you'll probably need is just a rag just to wipe off some of the excess. Okay, now let's go there. Okay, now we need the washers. Oh, this is nice. This one's a little bit, got a bit of a kink in it. We could probably work, still work with that. Okay, now, servo save a spring. Just slowly work it in. 
then washer and the servo saver bolt. Hmm. Okay. Now, when you're doing this, don't over tighten it because you do want a bit of play in the servo saver because the whole idea of the servo saver is to as it as the name says to save your servo go a little bit, a little bit tighter yeah that's good okay so that's that part there that's the servo saver now what we're doing now is to complete the uh, steering servo rack now now you got to take note here see we have some uh, ball ends and but one of them here is silver and in in the manual it says to have the silver on here so I'll get out my own keys this is the uh, the um, tool, uh, good like good quality Allen key set. Uh, this is a factory team one. It's Imperial. You have to excuse me too because uh, being Australian, I'm not exactly familiar with the uh, Imperial measurements because in Australia we work in metric. So, so that's. So we've got the right one. When you're doing it, just take your time. It'll take a while to catch and, and make a thread. And don't over tighten it because remember it is plastic. Alrighty, now we have a dust cap, uh, dust, dust cover. Basically the whole idea of it is you put it over your ball end like so. The whole idea is, is when you have the ball cup go over, the whole idea of the dust is to stop dust from getting up inside uh, and wearing out wearing out the uh, ball cup because it is plastic after all so basically so that's the servo saver pretty straightforward well put it over there alrighty so now we have the steering rack just also when you, when you're building it pay attention to the orientation so you don't have it like for instance upside down like this so this is the right way up and pretty much the same procedure now says to have it in this hole here when you put them in just be a little bit firm and then once it goes in just turn it and let it go in by itself And one thing too is you'll feel a little bit of heat coming from this, the friction. So don't do it too quick or you could like melt. It, it is possible you could melt the part, inside part of the uh, plastic there. So just go easy when you're screwing it in. Alrighty, now uh, put the bushing in. So it's like kind of a bearing but it's not. Okay, now, do the servo saver first, so you might have to change, yep, I'm going to change the, so what I might do is I might put that over there, just for later on. Oh, how's that? First go. Okay. 
direction. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, put that through there. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so the whole idea of the bushing is so that it's allowed the uh, screw there to move and so it doesn't bind. Same procedure here for the other steering arm, make sure you got it round the right way, like so. Okay, and then we just need the out and get the dust covers. Oh, damn. So lucky I didn't cut that dust cover. Very sharp knife. Alrighty, folks, that's it. Uh, you would see that there are some extra bits. There's an extra bit left over. So I will leave that. I'll probably just put this in this little bit of a little bag here. And so that's it, people. That is the steering rack. All done. That's part two, so stay tuned for part three.